All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to write a business plan in one page. So if you ever struggle to get a business plan going or get your business off the ground, then you come to the right place. And not only that, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to give you an AI prompt that's gonna make this shit as simple as possible, easy autopilot so you can finally get your business off the ground. Let me give you a quick disclaimer. This is not something that you're gonna take to a bank and get them to sign off and give you money. This is not some Silicon Valley plan. This is based off books like Traction and Scaling Up, similar to what they have, which is a one-page business plan so you can get into action. And that's what we're about on this channel. We're about actually getting things that we can put into action, go to the market, and start making some revenue. So without further ado, Let's get into the one page business plan. Now, what we're gonna be using here is the UBB. So if you're not familiar with the UBB, I'll talk about it later, but the UBB has all the documents, all the templates you need to organize your business completely. So this is the massive action business plan. And these are the core elements you're gonna need. You're gonna need your vision, and your vision is why your company exists, core values, what your company stands for, really important, your niche, basically what area of the market you wanna target, your massive action goal. You need a goal that's larger than life to keep your company motivated. Revenue streams. Now there's 12 forms of economic value. That's basically ways that businesses can make money. We have the 12 listed here on the document and then we need to put together which ones you're going to use. Then we have our brand guarantees. What do you promise to the market so people will trust you? Your target market, we'll talk about that in another video. We have another document for ideal customer profiles and value propositions. So we'll get into that in another video. The elevator pitch, so basically having an elevator pitch, something that you can quickly say to people when they ask what your company is about so they'll know exactly what it is. And then we have your action divergent. Three ways that you're different from other people in the market. This is important to understand. Words you own. And then finally, the three fundamentals, your lead generation, lead conversion, and lead retention strategies. Now, with that being said, we're going to be doing a fictional company called Mindful Glow Company. And basically, this is a company that sells things like meditation lamps. So you can see it on the screen right there. So I'm going to go through this document with you. And if you got into the UBB, you would understand how to use these templates. So I'm going to make a copy. And then I'm just going to call this the Mindful Glow Company. Okay, perfect. All right. So first... Let's go through our vision. So why does this company exist? If you've, if you've read books like Start With Why by Simon Sinek, you know that you have to have a vision that's larger than I just sell clothes or I just make hats or whatever it is. You need something that makes people get excited about it. So with the Mindful Glow Company, we're going to put something that really speaks to people. So here we go. The vision, the mindful glow coming exists to illuminate the path to mindfulness and spiritual growth, offering more than just products, but a gateway to inner peace and clarity. It's a pretty good vision. It's a pretty good vision to come up with. And we've already got the start of our company going. So let's talk about the core values now. So the core values are mindfulness. We prioritize present moment awareness and all our actions and decisions. Integrity. We uphold honesty and transparency in every interaction. Compassion. We approach every situation with kindness and understanding. Sustainability. We are dedicated to practices that protect our planet and future generations. Innovation. We continuously explore new ways to enhance our spiritual well-being. This is not some bad core values. And if you're telling people this, this is getting people excited about your business because they know what you stand for. Now, of course, you can go in here and come up with your own, but I'm just giving you examples of what you would do with this. Niche. Now, this is going to be the personal development spirituality niche. Now, it's not necessarily up here. You see personal development is up here, but spirituality is not necessarily up here. And I'm just going to put... This little stuff that we prepared a little bit early. So you can just see what it is. Mindful Glow specializes in personal development and lifestyle niche, particularly focusing on individuals seeking tools and resources for mindfulness, meditation, and spiritual growth. Now, massive action goal. This is a good massive action goal that we came up with. And you're going to see how I came up with this stuff so easy. To illuminate 10 million lives worldwide by providing transforming transformative mindful tools that foster personal growth and spiritual growth, leading to a more peaceful and connected world. Now, a massive action goal is something I learned from Built to Last. What they talk about, they used to call it, they called it a big, hairy, audacious goal. We call it a massive action goal, but it's basically something that pushes the company forward. So something that you probably can't reach in a lifetime, but it's such a big goal that it keeps the company motivated. Revenue streams. So if you don't know, there's 12 forms of economic value. You're familiar with most of them. So stuff like products, services, shared resources. Uh, these are things that you see all the time. You might have a gym or a hotel. A bunch of people share that resource and you pay people to access it. So there's 12 forms of economic value. 
And in this business plan, we come up with a couple that we would use for this. So this company here would be selling products, subscriptions, and services. Now you, you could get crazy with this. You could have, you know, speaking engagements, you could have audience aggregation, you could have uh, reselling other products. We're going to keep it simple here. The Mindful Glow Company just does products, subscriptions, and services. And what those services are, things like workshops, one-on-one -on -one coaching, monthly subscription offerings to guided meditations. You can have all these things for this company right here just by understanding the 12 forms of economic value. And if you want, I'll go over the 12 forms of economic value in another video. Let's talk about brand guarantee. So like I said before, the brand guarantee is something that your company stands by. This is going to build a lot of trust in the market if you do this effectively. So Mindful Glow guarantees that every product we offer will enhance your mindfulness journey or your money back. We stand by our promise to deliver products that foster peace, clarity, and spiritual growth. So that's a pretty decent brand guarantee. I recommend coming up with three different brand guarantees just to see which one you like the most and then deploy those in the market. You can have money back guarantees. You can have guarantees of satisfaction. There's all kinds of things you can do with brand guarantees. So next, target market. Like I said, we're going to get into that in another video. So don't worry about that. That's going to be your ideal customer profile. And we'll come back to that because we got a great document to really lock that in. Elevator pitch. So the elevator pitch is a statement that you can use. It comes from when you're going through an elevator, you're supposed to be able to pitch your entire company by the time you go through an elevator ride. So this is like stuff that's been popularizing books like Pitch Anything. So let's look at this structure. Then this is for our Mindful Glow Lamp. For individuals seeking peace and clarity in a hectic world, Mindful Glow is a mindfulness and spirituality company that offers unique meditation lamps and tools designed to illuminate your inner path. Unlike traditional wellness products, Mindful Glow integrates spirituality with innovation, providing tools that not only beautify your space, but also deepen your mindfulness practice. Now imagine memorizing that and telling somebody that. You're gonna look like you're really together when you go out there and pitch stuff like that. And stay to the end, because I'm gonna give you something that makes this whole process easy. So don't worry if this seems like a lot. Next, your action divergent, how you're different. So we need three factors of why we're different in the marketplace. If you're just like everybody else, then it doesn't really matter because people are not going to see you stand out. But if you can come up with different things that make you different, that's really powerful for your company. One thing to think about is it may be a unique personality. You know we're in the age of personal branding. So if you have a, a unique story or you're very interesting, you're really good on camera, this may be a factor that allows you to separate yourself in the market. So don't think in terms of just price because everybody thinks just price. I'm going to have the cheapest shit. You shouldn't do that. But think about unique factors about you that you have access to that maybe the other companies don't have access to. Because even if you're a smaller brand, the fact that you can handcraft things or maybe you can be more personal with the clients or the consumers, that's an advantage over the big brands who are just to the level where they can't really personalize anything anymore. There's always some unique factor and all you have to do is find it. So for this, we're going to say we have a unique product design. We have sustainable materials. Maybe nobody else in the market has that and integrated mindfulness content. So maybe we're the only ones who actually not just sell the lamps, but we actually have influencers and stuff and we create mindfulness content to go with the lamp. So we pair that with the lamp. Maybe we're the only ones who do that. Now, where'd you own? This is a concept that I learned from a book like 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing. It's a great book. And they talked about, if you think of a certain product right now, let's say I say luxury, what came to mind? You can even comment below what came to mind when I said luxury. You should even pause the video because there's a purpose for me saying this. Okay, so whatever came to mind when you said luxury, whatever product came to mind, that's what is first in your mind. So luxury car, there's probably a car you think of. If I say exotic car, there's probably a car you think of. So whoever owns that word in your mind, that's powerful in the market. So when you think of exotic cars, maybe you think of a Lamborghini, you think of Ferrari. If I say a luxury car, maybe you think of a Rolls Royce or a Bentley or a Maybach. All those things are things in the market that people own those words. Now, a powerful concept is that you can actually make up a word and then own that category in the market. So, for example, if you watch some of my old content, you know, people could teach entrepreneurship, but I teach massive action entrepreneurship. You see what I'm getting at? You could have business. Let's say you were teaching business. You can have entrepreneurship or you could have the luxury entrepreneurship experience and maybe you have certain places that you do your stuff. You only do your stuff in five-star hotels. Maybe you have car service when you come to the meetings. Whatever it is, you could brand yourself that way. And because it's branded differently, 
people are going to view it differently in the market and you can basically own that in somebody's mind. This makes your business powerful. This is how you brand yourself in a crazy way. This stuff right here, this stuff right here is really a game changer. This is like one of those magical hacks to marketing where people look at it and say, damn, how do they get so different in the market? Because they have words you own. It's really crazy stuff. Now let's talk about the three fundamentals. Oh, let me make sure to put this on. I almost forgot. I got so into this, I almost forgot. I got so into this, just like this type of content here. This is the real shit that gets businesses to the point where they can actually get into the market. So I've done this so many times. I just still get excited about this. So inner illumination. So that's words they'll own the market. So they've got inner illumination glow lamps. And somebody's like, what is inner illumination? Then you explain what inner illumination is. And now they're all, oh yeah, I need a glow lamp. I want a glow lamp. And they're really eating it up. And you, you, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. You can basically make this stuff and give it a different feel, a different sheen, a different coat of paint over it and make it feel different because that's really what people are buying. There's so many products out here. We got to make the products feel different. And I want you to understand this before I move on. One of the things I learned that makes you one of the better entrepreneurs in the market is that you understand that you can make these things up to make people feel things. As long as you are creating great products, it's up to you to market it in a way that's clever and interesting so the audience will take notice. All right, next, let's go over the three fundamentals. Now, the three fundamentals are the basics of any business. No matter what the business is, we have three basic parts of the business cycle, which is your lead generation, lead conversion, and lead retention. So, how do you generate leads? Once you get that lead, how do you convert that lead into a customer? And finally, lead retention. What do you do after to retain that lead? Now, this is very important. I really want to harp on this point really quick. Lead retention is very important. Now, let me tell you why it's important. Lead retention is important because a lot of people will start a business. They'll go out there and they'll sell some products. They might even sell some products, but then they don't have any way to get those customers back. And they don't have any way to make sure that they're making money every month. So they end up struggling in the market. I don't want that for you. So we're going to think of lead retention strategies right off the bat. Okay, here we go. Lead generation strategies for the Mindful Glow company. So with this company, we're going to run paid ads, aid ads. We're going to run paid ads, social media, content marketing, blogs, podcasts, videos, collaborations with spiritual influencers, mindfulness, mindfulness workshops, and webinars. So you might have somebody who gives a webinar on how to meditate better. So all these things will be lead generation strategies. Now, there'll be a little bit more. You see we have ideas up here like email marketing, newsletters, just the basic stuff that you would do with a company. But the more ways you can think about that you're going to create content or create leads for this company, the better. I would even recommend with a company like this that you do some type of lead magnet. It would be a mindfulness lead magnet, 10 things about mindfulness or how to start meditating the right way. And so when people get that, then you leave them to the next part, which is the lead conversion. So lead conversion strategies for this, optimized sales pages, personalized product demos, discount offers for the first time buyers, free mindfulness guides with purchase. So when you purchase it, you can give them a mindfulness guide too. Maybe it's like 30 different meditations you can do for different aspects of your life, for relationships, for health, for money. You get the idea. You can give them stuff with this to make sure that they convert because when they get on that checkout page and they're looking at the value and they're looking at you versus another company that's selling a similar product and you have a lot of value on that page, this becomes super powerful. And finally, lead retention strategies of how you retain the customers. So we're going to put this here. You can see that the document kind of goes all over the place. You can just correct this when you get on the document. But there you go. So lead retention strategy. So we're going to have a customer loyalty program, exclusive access to new products, an ongoing email newsletter with mindfulness tips and memberships in the Mindful Glow community. I can't talk right now. Now, this is what I want you to know. This is a full one page business plan. This is basically everything you need to go out into the market, understand not only what your company is about, how your how your business makes money but also the strategies of how you're going to go to market. Now, in other videos, I'm going to show you the business model canvas, which goes even more in depth. This is the type of stuff that's used in Silicon Valley. But before I go, I want to show you how you can use one prompt to generate this entire document and go through it just like I did for your business. So inside the UBB, I'm going to show you the UBB. So this is a, basically a bunch of templates that 
Organize every part of your business, your massive action business plan, your business model canvas, how you run your meetings, your organizational charts, your ideal customer profiles. Pretty much everything in your business is generated on these documents, and we've gone through the entire process. So every part of your business is taken care of here. We even go over standard operating procedures. We have video walkthroughs for everything here. But what I'm going to show you today is the AI prompt library. So basically, the AI prompt library is you can take this one prompt. Copy this prompt over to ChatGPT. Let's go to ChatGPT. Put this in here. You're going to replace these parts with your company name and your company description. And it's going to generate you something like this. You see what we just put into the document I showed you? It's going to show you the vision. It's going to give you the core values, the niche, the massive action goals. It's going to give you everything for your business. So... In a matter of seconds, you have a business plan or a starting point. Now, you go in here and tweak this. I wouldn't recommend just taking this to the market as it is, but you go and tweak this because I know this is one of the things that holds people up. They just can't th think through. They just can't think through the business plan. Now, if you want to get 20 other templates and prompts just like this, I encourage you to go to the link in the description and sign up for the UBB right now. And if you enter the discount code, the UBB at checkout, I'm going to give you 50% off right now. With that being said, take this document and go out into the market, make something great, and I'll see you in the next one.